<laughs> Let the beat drop. No, I'm not that good at it. Okay. <laughs> <clears throat> so, now that we got that out of the way, you know, dropping mad beats. Street beats. Street beats? Don't act like you don't know. Okay. So, we are finishing up our opal cup today. Hey Amber. Hi Amber. Hi How Kelly. Are you? I'm me today. How are you? I'm me. You get it? Do you get it? No. Uh, no. Why don't you get like, it? Like, is it supposed to be like a hi me? Like, um, hi me. Like, hi me. Like, hi me. Hey, like Jamie, but Spanish. Hi me. Hi me. Hi Sherry. Maybe. Hi Sherry. I'm gonna wait for my kids. We're just waiting for a couple people to come on. Hola, in. Anna. So Buenas tardes. Bienvenidos a la live de Facebook. Hi, Sherry. Yeah, he's very fluent in Spanish. Why is my phone case blue on that corner? It's vinyl. Oh, it's stencil vinyl. I get it everywhere. Hello, Carmen. Ooh, I can wear this on my shirt. Hi, Jessica from Minnesota. We're Minnesota. on an odd day today. We don't usually come live on Tuesday. Hey, Kendall. But here we are. We are here. Hi, Diane. Butterflies. You like them? They're pink. They're, They're technically sh- black. No, Hi, I'm Carrie. Me. Hi, Vicky. Hello, everyone. Hello. We're fancy today. Hi, Christy. We could do a lot of fun voices, by the way. In case hey, Geraldina. Weren't curious. We she said, hey, boo thing. Miss that beautiful face. Hi, boo <laughs> Christy said, you can start now. I'm here. <laughs> I Hi, love Shayla. I love it. I love it. Oh, my gosh. That's so great. Hi, Gina. Hi, Gina. Hi, Heather. <laughs> Ninety people, approximately. How many? Ninety. Hi, Jennifer. Why does ninety people want to watch me? You guys. The Simpsons are more fun. Hi, Judy. So we are finishing up our opal cup. Woo woo. Very pretty. Very pretty. Uh-huh. So. Camera doesn't know this yet, but the next step of this cup is that we're going to go outside and spray paint random white spots on this cup. Hey, April. Um. <laughs> Chrissy's like, I know you were waiting on me. Thanks. Yes. She's like, because you guys rock. Hi, Kelly. We were. We were totally waiting on you. Like, oh my gosh, it's going to be so fun now that you're here. So, yeah. We're going to go outside and we're going to Spray paint this cup and random. Uh, Laura said, What are you guys been smoking? Y'all are silly. You two would be hilarious after a couple girl <laughs> Jessica said you two would be hilarious after a couple drinks. I've already had one drink. I'm only on my second. Well my first Hi, Stephanie. One wasn't completely gone before I filled up for the second one. So technically I'm not even through with my first drink yet. Diane said there's the reason that many people are watching you is because we always learn something. That's why we watch. You're like the teacher. I'm a teacher. I'm just kidding. I hate teaching my kid. Um, she's an ungrateful little. And I don't like homeschooling. So she's going back to school in August. Um, so we're going to go outside. We're going to spray paint some random white spots on Her this. shirt says turn up Tuesday. So yes. that kind of matches maybe, the whole. Oh, it's not backwards because it's not like selfie mode. Yeah. Not turn up like the vegetable. Like turn up. To, this used to be my gym shirt when I like went to the gym, but who does that anymore? <laughs> Hi, Lexi. She said, "Can I see the glitter again?" Oh, there it is. So much of it. How would you not? See it? I'm making her another shelf, and I'm gonna be. There's more glitter. No, that's yeah. I mean, yeah. There's glitter in there too. 
There's more glitter. It's everywhere. Yeah. So we're going to go outside and see Our school board just voted us for not to go back in August, as so Kendall said. That sucks. Ooh. Hi, My Lisa. kids get an option of if they go back to school or if they stay home and, like, learn at home. My kid's going back to school. Brittany said, like, you need to go to the gym. Listen, I've got some tubby, okay? Like... You, you guys see me on the prowl, right? Making sure that there's not any bugs out here. So I got my flat protective enamel. We're going to spray paint little spots on this cup. Hey, Ryan. We're going to do it like a boss. Uh, my baby pool's still in the front yard. Do a test spray because that enamel was, it was acting funny the other night. Yeah. Don't. <laughs> Random spot right there. Random spot right there. Oh yeah, it's dark here. Brady says I have a glitter problem too. It's so dark there. Yeah, it's pretty dark here. Don't tell nobody. So I'm just Brady said my sprinklers still aren't in. Hi Marley. Sprinkler. Hey Deva. I oh, just voted gosh. for two days at school, rest at home. Not happy here in California. Oh, no. I have a lot of new friends in California. So, what's the purpose of doing these white spots? This is for me. That's not for them. So, I'm going to go back with alcohol inks over these white spots. That's how you get the effect of the cup that I po posted. I didn't see the cup you posted. Carry on. This is why we don't bring men along to our crafting, because they ask too many damn questions, okay? They don't want to follow directions, like, you know, that stuff comes with, but they want to ask questions about our methods. Hey, and da, da, da. how many instructions have I not followed? How many instructions have I not followed? Answer that question. I don't know. I'll wait. I don't know. I'll, I'll wait. Keep So Brittany said, our kids are going back. Maybe you should move here. Then we can be new besties. We could be besties. Natalie, Natalia says, love how it's turning out. Greetings from Costa Rica. Carrie says, California sucks. Ryan says, that look she gave you. Huh. <laughs> Kendall said, we started with the option of in-person or virtually, and then came back and said, yes. just kidding, virtually only. Oh, really? Or That's what, what ours is, too. Is it's the, the virtual option or... To go back to school and like they gave us an option maybe madison maybe said uh that. california's just been shut back down <laughs> you're talking about because the covid number is still back on the rise that they're re-shutting down states as if they never should have been opened up in the first place well our governor of Georgia hi kaylee was one of the first retards to open off that's not that's not nice date he is. He's an idiot. And then the numbers skyrocketed of cases in the state. And Diane's suggesting that I should buy things for you. She's like sending a link of things that I should buy. I need to, I'll look, I'll have to look at that in a minute. I'll probably just log in on mine. Yeah. Hers looks like alternate days or alternate weeks. Not sure yet. Sherry says, look what I got today. I'm going to be sneezing a lot, guys. I'm sorry. I have terrible allergies. We call Cameron Machine Gun Sneezy because once he starts, he doesn't stop. So you just hold the Heather said, thank you for help in. today. I love so. I have so much glitter coming. Ryan says, I'm a 911 dispatcher. And sadly, here in Virginia, the numbers are going back up. Ooh. Kelly says, I like turtles. Sherry says, glitter craze. Whoop, that came out wrong. Yes, Texas is supposed to be shut back down as well. Ah, Curious, yes. it seems like we all have idiot governors. Yeah, Brittany says we have two cases in our county. Everybody else is home. Judah said Texas is the worst world. I'm fine. Yep, burn away the corona. Burn away the corona. Judith said Texas is the worst. We're on code red. Ooh. Brittany says move here. Your allergies would be better. Kaylee said sorry she was late. 
She was helping somebody convert a PDF. Oh, aren't you sweet? <laughs> Whew. Such a Thank you guys, all the bless you. Bless y'all's heart. Bless my heart. I can't quit sneezing. Bless it. I'm baby. hoping to go to the retreat in October. Hope you'll be there. I will be at the retreat. <laughs> I'm sure the camera's like every time I sneeze. Madison said, bless you, that look is priceless to my you giving me. <laughs> yeah, I'm funny. You guys just don't <laughs> know it yet. The more he sneezes, the more funny you'll think Sherry I Sherry said, wow, you weren't kidding about the machine gun sneezing thing. Oh, see? Miriam said, yes, I'm in Texas, but our stupid governor doesn't want to shut down. <laughs> Carrie says, hey, guys. Hi. Hello. Brittany says in their dealerships looking for help. Cost of living is better too. Ooh, see, he sells cars. I do title paperwork. Chris says I'm dying. Her with that torch. <laughs> <laughs> see, I told y'all I was funny. Y'all didn't listen. I don't know if y'all uh, y'all caught that or not, but um, I my arms sticky. I I did my flow nays earlier today, guys. You'll be proud. I stuck my arm in that cup back there. That was is on what I thought was gonna be its last coat of epoxy. Huh? Guess again. Uh, so I just you know torched it a lot so that it would burn off all my arm hairs that it ripped out, and it would also. Brittany said you were trying to epoxy smooth. that elbow. Yes. It is on there pretty good though. It's pretty sticky and I can't find my damn baby wipes right now. So, you see my alcohol? I had, I had to get them off the... Uh... Oh, there it is. Get that. I got it. This is what we do. In case you ever get epoxy. Jesus. It's getting on me. <laughs> you did chill out. If you ever get epoxy in your <laughs> clothes, that is what you do. You completely douse that spot in alcohol and so much alcohol. The that you cover the floor. Rubbing alcohol that you can and you find. cover your husband and you cover your family. And then you just kind of rub it out. Not like, never mind. Um, you just kind of, you know, get it off of there with a paper towel. Kaylee says our governor is ridiculous and our senators got involved and it was a whole big mess. Chris says vinegar works well too. Ooh, see, I didn't know that. Brittany but, says, I interviewed today for a management position for a dental office and will work from home. Nice. I'm working from home, too. But yeah, vinegar would stink, though. That'd be the only thing I wouldn't care for. He doesn't like vinegar. I don't care for vinegar at all. Brittany says, I and I have been the same as you, just sneezing and sneezing, but found out I have a side effect of Claritin D, which is losing your voice. I can't take it anymore, sadly. That sucks. Ooh. Hi, Gabrielle. Yes. Gabrielle. Yes. My Gabrielle. Yay. So, I got some alcohol. Working on the opal cup. This is out. what we've done so far. I spray painted some white spots on there that we're going to go over uh, with some alcohol and some alcohol inks. Uh, Gabrielle, your mom's phone case is not ready yet, so don't, don't, don't ask Stop. me. Stop. <laughs> I've got some alcohol in my cup, and I've got my alcohol inks that I think <coughs> I'm going to... I just breathed in alcohol. I'm sorry. You act like what's in your cup is any different. That's vodka. That's rubbing alcohol. They have totally different smells. <laughs> okay, so we've got Tim Holtz Mermaid. Carrie says I use vinegar in every load of laundry. Kaylee says so. I tried a Milky Way. Epic fail. Hi, Carrie. Oh, I thought you meant like a Milky She is not bleeding on her leg. It's just alcohol no, ink. No, it's just alcohol ink or she something can't get off. of the sort. Yeah, I just can't get it off. Um, pool is another one that we might be using today. I need a lighter teal, a darker teal. Uh, pinata. Uh, what is that? I don't know what that Passion is. Passion purple. Passion purple, yeah. 
And then this is another pinata ink. Señorita Magenta. Yeah. Chrissy said pool is my favorite. Yes, I love it for my shipwreck cups. Deadpool. I've got my cup over there turning in case you thought that all of this non-essential talk was overbearing. She's waiting for the cup to I'm dry. I'm waiting for the spray paint to dry because I wanted you guys just to see how simple and easy I just spray painted my cup in random spots. Um, I've got it in Hi, Robin. front of my fan to try and get the paint, the spray paint to dry faster. Um, so it wasn't completely all irrelevant chatter. Um, so I'm just waiting for it to dry a little bit so that I can go over it with the the ladybug vacuum yeah she's got it yeah i've got that it doesn't help a lot kayla said i can't wait to order a crap ton of alcohol and can't wait for it to come almost every ranger one i think that's the brand it was hello charlene yes ranger or tim holtz tim holtz yeah tina says love the eye roll yes i'm very good at what's she doing on the third cup with all the colors that is going to be a mama source cup exactly like this one over here this one is completed it was on its final layer of epoxy until i stuck my arm in it and then these are my two opal cups Ooh. Oh, that's, whoop. um yeah some of you may recognize those because those were on my lives that i did previously on the tacket method yes 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 netty that is hers. It's lovely. It's pretty. Very it's pretty. beautiful. I love it. And then that is going to be an Alice in Wonderland cup that I'm going Lisa, to Lisa, I'm not getting sick. I'm good. Yeah, I just no. got to take allergy medicine. He has really bad allergies. He should probably get a shot in his butt, but he doesn't like to say that. Um, so this one's going to be an Alice in Wonderland cup. I'm going to do a full wrap uh, water slide on it and I'm going to show you guys how I go back in and um, touch it up with highlighters. Touch it up with highlighters. Boom! Exactly. This one's going to be a stitch cup and this is our opal cup that we're working on with the white spray painted spots so that I can go in with What's the, the white glitter? Um, the white glitter is Mother of Pearl. I really love it. It's one of my new additions to my collection. It has all different colors of the rainbow in there as the sparkle that's in it. I really love Mother of Pearl. It's my new favorite. It's, yeah, it's pretty banging. You gotta, you gotta push the button. Shh. Look at that. It's gorgeous. Gorgeous Mother of Pearl. <laughs> my lid's not on there good. Mother of Pearl. Yeah, you can see it has like, it has purples and greens and pinks in there. Is the shimmer that it gives off of it, and it's very, very pretty. Okay, my cup feels dry. Penny said, how many coats of epoxy are on the Tacket cups? Um, this one, since it has a chunky at the bottom, I believe it's on its fourth coat of epoxy, super thin coats, um, and really just to cover up. The only reason it needed another layer was just to cover up the, the bumps of the chunkies. Um, this one is on its second layer of epoxy, and it'll probably get its next layer in the morning. Um, I did use Fast Set on all of those cups behind me um, for the first and second layer um, so that they would dry faster so that I can put the top coat on them with the UV in it. Um, gold on the Nelly's cup. Go. Gold on the Nelly's cup? What's the gold on the Nelly's cup? Um, it is Halo. Hello, hello, hello. Lanisha says, why Why do you have to be a shot in his butt? Um, you can get steroid shots for your allergies. Brady said, so, do it. Do Where'd it. you get the Mamasaurus file? And do you sell inks and glitters? I'm new here, sorry. No, Miranda, but the majority of the stuff that we buy is from Glitter Craze. Glittercraze.com. Crazy. So, oh. yeah, if you need help with that, message us directly. You can add us. We're totally cool with you sending yeah. us friend requests. Send me a friend request. We can send you links to and all of this stuff. We can do all of that. To be honest, I'm hardly ever on my personal page. I'm always in my groups. Hi, Valerie. So, she said, hey, hey, my sexy peeps. Hi. Carol says, have you ever used the white high flash? I, I don't think so. Allergies are going crazy as well. I need to figure out what is blooming, right? Me too, Tina. 
My mom is wanting a full rat water slide on a modern curve. Any suggestions for that? I'm dreading it. Tough Ooh, one. That's a tough one. Why are you all sniffly? Because I have allergies, Valerie. Allergies suck. Yeah. And having trouble hearing what Heather's saying. You gotta speak up. Hi, Hanny. I'm very loud. I can be louder, though. So, I'm just, I dropped some of this alcohol ink on this cup. I'm dab, dab, dabbing away like I do with my face. Jessica yeah. said, I used to get allergy shots regularly. They help so much. I really have any troubles anymore. See? You need allergy shots. I can't afford them. Whatever. Whatever. You got jokes, don't you? Carmen says, I want to see you do the Alice in Wonderland. Yes, it's going to be awesome. It's super cool when I do it. Cameron even says that it's super cool. It is really cool. Um, When I do it. So, you guys are going to love it. Um, and it's actually an order that I have. I had somebody share one of my Alice in Wonderland cups that I did for them. Hi, Stacy. She shared it onto um, a Facebook group that's called All About Alice in Wonderland. And I got a $150 order just from her sharing it onto the group. So, only one order. But, hey, that $140, $150 order... Yeah, yes. Miranda, reach yeah. out to us because we can help you out. Um, the Mamasaurus file, Heather can send you directly if yeah, you need I have it. That file. Do you have to wipe the Marabou cups with paper towel when they're wet, and do you seal them when the paint's dry? Um, I do seal them when the paint is dry, and yes, you can blot them with a paper towel, but you don't want to go rubbing because it'll start rubbing stuff away, you know, like a jazz. Like Valerie says, tell her to sell more cups so she can be your sugar mama and pay for your shots. Hey, 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 Heather. Will you be my sugar mama and pay for my shots? I mean, I'm really the brains behind the operation anyway. I'll end this live so fast. <laughs> oh, oh. oh, God, I almost fell. Mm-hmm, karma. <laughs> I'm going to cup check you. <laughs> Good thing I'm wearing a cup. No, you're not. You're right. Okay, so you're I got welcome, my colors you're welcome, on Kelly. there, and I just wet the end of my little Dima Flotchy, my little makeup spongy, and Annie, we're, just... we're finishing up the opal cup, so the one, that we, the one that we opal glittered the other night, she's in the process of dab, 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 and some alcohol links onto randomly sprayed white spots. Randomly sprayed white spots all over my opal cup. So, my, I don't know if you guys noticed that, but I put blue on my paintbrush and it kind of turned purple because I had pink on there. So, now I'm going to do it on a makeup sponge. So, we're going to give that a try. You really got to get some juice on there for it to come off. I'm just dabbing. Hundred and forty eight people watching. Why does it hundred Thank you guys? Like on a serious note, we appreciate y'all spending time with us and hanging out with us. Yeah, we're not as weird as we What day did you do the first one so I can go to try and find it? Um I did it on Sunday. All I did was um I glittered it. I did girls best friend as with Hi, the Denise. epoxy method. Um so I just did Girl's Best Friend with the epoxy method on there. I patted it down with my hand and I epoxied until smooth. And Chrissy said, but who is your favorite? Ooh. To my person watching? We're not going there. Yeah, there's so many people watching. I don't know. And not only that, but there's so many of y'all that we actually have, like, personal relationships with now. Yeah, I've got a lot of new best friends now. So... Jessica said 152, three, four. <laughs> Kaylee says, I love watching lives of others working on cups. I will not do my own because it makes me nervous. Don't be nervous. Everybody loves everybody. Some Shannon people. said, oh, cool. That's easy. Thank you. Yes. So I just did it super, you know, it was just like a touch and go type thing with it uh, when I did do it. So... 
I just painted, I spray painted white on these little spots here, you guys, and I just want, I'm just really lightly dabbing over all of it with my makeup sponge to try and lighten the colors because I want it to look like my colors were just randomly placed there. Um, instead of it looking, you know, like I spray painted a circle there and went in with alcohol inks over it. And you can definitely touch this up. Alcohol ink removes, or alcohol removes alcohol ink. So if you get it in a spot where you don't like it so much, you can definitely just take some alcohol and rub it off. Is this tumbler already epoxied at all? Asked Diane. Yes, this epoxy was uh, this cup was epoxied until smooth. Um, so you definitely always want to make sure that you epoxy your cup until smooth. If you do not, you will be able to see, like with my Mama Saurus cup over there, uh, you'll see like these little bumps in it. Now I'm not so worried about this cup as I am with my Mama Saurus cup because this one I'm going to be going over over all of it with the alcohol ink, which is really just gonna blend it all in anyways. So those bumps won't matter as much as it will. Stacy said, thank you for showing how to do water size. I tried it and now it's my favorite. Awesome. Jessica said, do you order your tumblers in bulk and where do you get them? I do order my tumblers in bulk. As you can see under my tables, um, I get them from the Stainless Depot when I order in bulk. If I need just one cup or so, then I will order. From, yeah, a lot of that's hidden the majority of the time, guys. Um, I will order from the Glitter Craze, but I get like cases from the Stainless Depot. Um, of a certain style cup that I sell the most, which is usually my um, 30 ounce skinnies and my 20 and 30 ounce modern curve. Um, so I do, you know, get them from there only when I want to order in a very large bulk. So. What is good to use to remove crackle medium? I messed up and I've scrubbed this cup with different things and I cannot get it off. Carrie, I'm gonna answer your question. Uh, I don't know, honestly. I've never had to take the crackle medium off, so I'm not really sure on that one. I'm sorry. Carol, we're, we're going to be working on different audio techniques um, for the sake of being able to continue to do the things that we do, as far as me being able to see everything and, re and answering the questions and stuff for you while you watch Heather work. Um, but I know that it's not super great as far as the audio. So, sorry about that. The, the phones are designed, like, so that you can hear me, but you're not supposed to be able to hear her. You know, if that makes sense. So, but we're going we're gonna to be working on it. We're getting different setups and different audio stuff. So, there it won't be long. some new techniques in the works. When you do a laser water slide, do you use the clear enamel and plastic dip? Um, I do on my laser printed She has so many straws. Slides. Yes, I do. I don't really, none of my customers like the plastic ones, so I have tons of them. Um, I do one layer of matte, clear, Rust-Oleum um, spray paint, and that just gives durability to my uh, laser printed water slides, and that's what I do, is I just do one layer for those, because they don't have to be sealed. But I, it frustrates me because I'm, I, you know, I started out with water slides with my um, inkjet printer and my Plasti Dip. And so now I'm a lot more rough with my water slides because I'm used to the Plasti Dip. So just adding that one layer of matte clear adds some, you know, oomph to them so that they're not so easy to crack and... The color flake off and all that good jazz so yes i do i just do one layer though i don't do the whole shebang robin said have you ever ordered from steel magnolia i haven't mm -mm. cody said have you ever done a water slide like a tattoo so do you have a video she does not but she can 
Yes. Did you try done, using um, acetone I've, for her? I've also bought the uh, temporary tattoo paper that you can buy, and I have done those before as well. Geraldine, you can use facet more than once on a cup. Yes. Highly I recommended. Use it for Game all changer. My layers for the most part, except for my top layer, because it doesn't have a UV protectant in it. Um, it will yellow over time. So I do everything but my top layer with it. Kathy says, I love how you work together. It's so much nicer to have Cameron answer questions and Heather keep going on the Tumblr and instructions. Isn't it? We like this format. Um, Heather's done a couple like where she's just trying to hold the camera and you can hear the frustration in her voice and she's like, I just can't do both. And I can understand. Like, I don't know how some of the ladies do it, so that's why mm -hmm. I, I enjoy I I helping you guys. Sandy says, I love your videos. Y'all are so cute together. The little one's sleeping, Hanny. Yes. It's, it's 9 o'clock, or it's later than 9 o'clock here. They go to bed every night at 9. So Discipline that's why we, and routine. You always see us at nine thirty. Yep, y'all. We get a twenty minute window to to pee and fix our drinks and whatever. Heather to fix her face. Yeah, I fixed my face for you guys. Joyce said, "I did my first water slide this past week and used the Feisty Dip. It was awesome." Yeah. Hey, Annette. She says she loves your shirt. Thanks. I and Victoria's Secret. All right, so Carrie, I did not forget about you, Miss Carrie Burke Anderson. Um. I can't do a live about how to do the form that we did for Heather's orders. But if you want to message me personally, you can add me. I don't care. I'll go over how I've done it. Um, and we, we'll try to work on some other resources so that way you guys can have access to those. So reach out to me. It's super easy for her. She is able to fill out the form and it automatically throws all the information into a spreadsheet, adds everything up. Sends her an order form that she can print. To it's super email. nice. Yes, yeah, send me so. an order form to my email, and I can fill out my order form in the public's parking lot if I want to. Like, I really like it. So. Yeah. So, but yeah, reach out to me directly. I, I'll help you out with it. We'll go over it. Um, Emily says, "Turn up Tuesday." I love it. Yeah. Kaylee says, "My kids are night owls like us, so it's rough." Ours probably would be. If we let but. Them. With us, with the routine, Christian used to go to bed every night at 10 p.m. And then we kind of dwindled it back to 9.30 and then 9. And Izzy's bedtime used to be 9.30 when it wasn't school nights and 8.30 when it was school nights. And now it's just 9 o'clock all the time. Because COVID. Thanks, COVID. Thanks, COVID. And uh, Hanny says, lucky mine is a freaking monster. She stays up till 10 and sometimes 11. <laughs> Valerie said, I need that. So for water slides, inkjet or laser better? You can do either. Uh, I laser. have both. Laser, you don't have to seal, but we recommend doing it for the sake of getting a little bit more durability, a little bit more elasticity. Um, but you can do it either way. It's really up to you. Valerie yeah. says, sending me a message. Jessica says, oh, I want that too. Stacy says, oh my God, I need that form. Carrie says, perfect. I need that, Heather's future husband. <laughs> Reach out to me, guys. I don't mind helping. Um, it just had to be outside of this platform, so that way we can tackle it together. 8.15 and mine are in bed. Best thing we ever did was set up our routine. Same for us. Our son knows when it's 9 o'clock because he starts yawning. He starts getting sleepy. We put him in the bathtub. He, he gets a bath every night before he goes to bed, and we put him in the bathtub. We brush his little teeth. Then we give him a bottle. He goes down, and he... Just he'll, he'll sit. either sit in there and go to sleep, or he'll sit in there and play until he gets tired and go to sleep on his own. Yep, he will sit in there and play forever and ever and ever. And he'll then, wake up in but the he won't cry. He will not cry. He'll just and sit in there. He'll play until he's ready to get out. And he'll play in his little crib, like he doesn't get out of his Thank crib you, or Lisa. anything like that. So he'll play in his crib and chill until somebody's ready to get him out or he's ready to get out and yells to let somebody know that he's awake like Vicky said I got a thick sunny scope on Amazon and did not need to seal them using the laser printer nice Hanny, yeah, we'll, we'll figure thing. it out together as far as how I'm going to go about doing it but if y'all want to message me directly we'll do it Kaylee says I have to take my oldest Kindle and switch off of him or he'll stay up till 2am but he's 9 so half the time I'm like whatever because I work <laughs> at 6 and from home yeah Speaking of which, 8 p.m. here. I need to get mine ready for bed. If you're hopping off, Kendall, we'll see you later. See you later. Andy says, the problem arises when they get older. My 15-year-old can stay up way later than me if I let him. 
Hey, Linda. I was that way when I was that age, too. And Dan said it helps if you're both on the same page when it comes to your babies. We are. We're 100% on the same page. Um, that We actually had this conversation with our 8-year-old. She got She's gotten to the point now where she likes to answer with her hands. And she likes to do thumbs she's up. she's got an attitude. Because she's like going to get a little attitude. And Heather had a sit-down discussion with her. She's like, don't ever think that we're going to be on different pages. Because we're not. <laughs> so. So, yeah. I'm just moving my alcohol length along. Trying to get the effect that I want. Because this totally wasn't my effect when I started out. But thank you. Thank you, Kathy. She's an awesome parenting, guys. Yeah, my kids are pretty good. Geraldina, my parts. baby doesn't have a bedtime yet, but then again, I work nights, so we're always flip-flopping. That's tough. Yes. Where I'm thankful that I work 9 to 6, and Heather was working pretty much the same. Or actually, she was working 9 to 2 or 3 for a long time there, and now she's working from home, so. Routines are awesome for the littles. Oh, early, yeah. early bedtimes means early wake-ups. Mine were nine at the latest. Grandson is visiting. He had two-hour nap, so is just now getting ready to sleep. Yep, so I'm dabbing it. See, I'm getting it Emily said, day. my tiny humans, 1, 4, and 7 or 8 p.m. to betters and wake up around 8 a.m. By some miracle. Yeah. Said. By some miracle. Hi, Jana. Our Jana. Hi, we turn off the Wi-Fi when we go to bed. Smart. That is very smart. smart. But all of our house is run with Wi-Fi, so including our yeah. thermostat. Our cameras and, our lights and stuff, too. And our cameras. But the beautiful thing about me is and I'm tech home savvy. Security system. I'm tech savvy, so I can cut off Izzy's computer yeah. from having access to internet, specifically, just by going into the router settings. Because I know how to do that. My babies are 22 and about to turn 17. Routines were the savior of my life, is what Jessica says. Yes. Routines. Youngest, who's five, goes to bed at 10 when he's at his grandmother's, but stays up really late here, and he knows his dad will cave if he cries, and he knows it. Mm. That is one thing. One that is one thing that I do not think I will tolerate as he gets, even if as Christian gets older. Can I stay up? No. <laughs> It'll be like, just shut it down. Couple's looking no, so cool. I what is it going to be? I may have missed it. So this is going to be it it's supposed to look like it has like marble, like a marble look to it. Um these are just alcohol links I'm going over with um a paintbrush and I did some dabbing. I just want it to look the way it's supposed to look, I guess. Um but I'm, they're essentially going to look like little marble places on it. And I'm going to go back with like some a gold metallic marker to try and add the veins to it. I don't want that to look so even. And it said, I've had my two youngest grandkids, four and seven, for two days. Just took them home. I think I'll <laughs> sleep for two days. Yes. Kids have so much energy. Oh, my gosh. Throughout the day, I'm like, why are you still awake? Go to sleep. And my eight-year-old looks at me and laughs. Yeah, Izzy wakes me up. Or Izzy's waiting for me every morning when I get up. I come out of the bedroom at like 8.20 and she's like, hello, every single morning. <laughs> and I leave her every morning with, okay, bye. She's like, are you going to do that every morning? I was like, probably, probably till you're 20, if you're still <laughs> living here. No, she's going to be out at 19. I was out at 18. Yep, so we, she, we sprayed 19. random spots of white on the cup. Yep, Damn. random spots. Isn't that cool? I think it looks pretty banging. I mean, it's just me staying here, but, you know. And then, let me get my gold metallic pen. I'll probably dab some more alcohol on it just a little bit. Just dab, dab on myself first. And dab, dab on my cup.
Kaylee says, I'm, I'm convinced they suck it from you while they're stealing you. I still had some of my oldest, then I had my youngest, and it was totally gone. Yeah. Chrissy said, good luck with that. I've been telling my oldest she was out at 18. But here she sits, curled up with me, watching a movie, <laughs> and you're live. <laughs> Girl, you need to get out your mama house. I'm just kidding. I don't know y'all's situation. <laughs> He's just joking. He makes it funny. He tries to be. I, I, I got to say this. Like, I wish my mom would have kicked me out at 18. I would have grew up so much faster. Look at all that glitter on my clothes. We said that too. Out at 18. My daughter's 25 and still at home. In her defense, the cost of living in our town is ridiculous. That's always tough to you. Yikes, that is tough. My brother moved to New York at 19 with $300 to his name and a van that my grandfather gave to him. That he did not know that he was supposed to change the oil in. Oh my god. That was his excuse when the transmission blew up. I'm gonna tell Michael you're talking about him. I don't care. Valerie says, I just told my 20 year old goodnight. <laughs> Chrissy says, I don't ever want to let them go. See, I'm the other type of mom. I'm like, get out of my house. Don't have babies. They'll only make me have. I don't know. More anxiety than I already got. Yeah, I'm just adding to this puppy, guys. You guys are probably like, oh my god, be done my with it My two already. sons still live at home. Cost of living is crazy. That's the tough part. Yeah. And I'm scared with all this COVID stuff that cost of living is just going to go up more. Yeah. Once all this, uh, once we get through paying off all this stimulus stuff. <laughs> so, I hope everybody's safe, by the way. We've had a couple of COVID scares. That's for sure. Leanne says, I wish my two, mine were still at home. All three on their own and my bonus two also. Kicking my Cost kids. of living is ridiculous. As a single parent, it was impossible to move out here. So I am at 42 in a three generation home. My folks and my kids. It is something special to watch the relationships my kids have with my folks. I'm sure. We we have some Definitely. we have some really cool relationships with Heather's mom and dad, and not so much my mom. But it's all about choices. But. Yeah. So I'm wiping away the excess. This cup is not for an order, by the way. It's just one I saw, and I was like, hey, let's do it on a live. So, here we are. Wait till what the kids get older. You talking about stress, but I love my boys. That's what Robin said. They always seem to find their way back home. My 30-year-old is living with us in Iowa while he waits for his house in Texas to sell. At least he's got a house in Texas to sell. Yeah. You know, that's awesome. My two are a year apart. And when they were both at college at the same time, I almost died. Yeah. That's... It can be scary. I remember when I first moved to college, I, I've never told you this. When I first moved to college, I went to Georgia Southern. And I think like my first week of living there, there was something on the news that someone had gotten shot, like literally down the street from where I lived. And my mom was like, lock yourself in your room. Don't come out. I just remember being like, okay, I'm on my own for the first time ever. And someone just got shot right down the road from me. Stuff like this don't happen in Swainsboro, Georgia. It does. I've been like, I'm going to get my 20 gauge and we be down there right now. <laughs> I'm going to be on the news. That's me. Y'all get excited. Get excited. Y'all about to see me on the news. Becky said, they're only little ones, little once. Don't blink. Mine are 25, 23, 21, and 17. My 17 is all I got left at home. He's a senior, said he's not leaving his mama. The others showed him why. <laughs> my my household, seven-year-old son of my hubby has COVID right now. I'm so sorry. Oh Somehow I tested negative but have symptoms. Hasn't been super awful, but I don't recommend getting it. Funny thing is I work at a hospital, but my hubby got it from his work, we think. That's scary. Tiffany says, I'm 30 and single with two kids. We love. We live with my grandparents just because I don't want to leave them. Makes sense. Nothing wrong with that. If they're, if, you know what I mean? Like, support systems are everything, too. So, I'm thankful that we do well enough without needing one. 
but we definitely have one, you know, where if times got tough, we could lean on them. My mom just started getting into making cups. I think she has about 100 glitters, and she hasn't made a cup yet. I turned her into a monster. Why do you have all that glitter? That's so much glitter. Just to not make cups. That's funny. Listen. Diane said, I know, I know. It's a thing. Diane said, my 22-year-old lives with me, but I haven't been able to see her because she's quarantined at her boyfriend's home for 14 days due to being exposed at a, to a positive case. It's quiet here. I can imagine. Christine said, you guys are great. Y'all from Swainsboro? I am. Cameron's from Swainsboro? I am. I'm from Swainsboro. Hey, you don't even talk as good as I do. I'm from Effingham. Where all the meth is made in all of Georgia. So, I don't like my metallic gold pen. So, we're going to do some gold flakes. Yes. Denise says, I just recovered from COVID. It's awful. It's terrible. We're glad that you're well, Denise. Yes. I'm so glad that you're okay. Chrissy said, I'm a nurse and we have to test every every week now. Have you Girl, seen that I test? It that sucks. Was, like, tickling your brain from the... Mark, outside. our landlord said that it was a pretty painful experience. He said, the lady said, yeah, it's going to be a little uncomfortable. He said, uncomfortable is not the word. <laughs> He said, that, that SOB hurt. All right, so this is just my designer clear adhesive. And I'm just dabbing some gold flakes on there to kind of give it a little bit of a looky go. Dang it, I dropped Denise says, I'm lucky it was a mild case. Madison says she's nervous because she messed up her first trial, but it works in my favor because I get glitter mail because being 3,218 miles away is hard with COVID, but hopefully she's coming here in August. Uh, Christina said, big town of Uvalda right here. Oh, you ain't far. Lori, if the kids live at home, hopefully they don't go far. My family. If the kids li live at home, Heisenhurst. hopefully they don't go too far. In department. My mom's family is from Hazelhurst. So if you're from Uvalda... I'll oh, hopefully they don't go get too far in debt. Maybe is that what you meant, Lori? I have been through Uvalda to get to Hazelhurst. We the Creamer family. Just because I feel your pain. I work at a prison. We test weekly, too. Oof. They pulled part of my brain out with the test. <laughs> at least that's what it felt like, is what Joyce said. Screw all that mess. Mm -mm. Carrie said, I just had a test done, but they just swabbed the back of my throat. Oh, see, that's the easy one. I heard that there's a test. They shove up your nose, and they try to tickle your brain with it. It's not supposed to be no fun. So, yeah, I just did some designer clear adhesive on there, and there's like a little veiny vein. Designer clear adhesive. So I'm gonna do this. And this gold flake. And the gold flake. I got that off Amascam. AKA Amazon. So I'm just touching it with my finger, sticking it on my finger, and then I'm gonna go over just a little with it just to add some gold flakes in there Brooke said we don't test weekly at our pharmacy yet I'm just waiting then he said they violated my brain that's pretty accurate your brain says that it wants its money back right brain's like no date first jeez you don't even know my name Mr. Test okay maybe you do Madison, my manager had a test and they did the nose one and she couldn't stop sneezing. And she said, never again. It was not good. I can only imagine. I have bad enough nose problems, much less having somebody shove something so far up my nose that it feels like they're pulling a piece of my brain out. I'm okay. Yeah, I'm not into all I that. I love y'all, but I'm just getting COVID. Wait, Stacy said I almost threw up in my mask when I got tested. Oof. My boss is also the type of person who's like, if you feel sick, go home. 
Yeah. But it's also the same type of person who's got, no, nah, it's a big conspiracy theory. It's not real. So it's like, he's, it's basically a catch-22. Yeah, he's also the person that says, well, if I get it, I'll get it. Yeah, he's in his 70s. It's just my time to go. Did that work with glitter too? Um, yes, it can, maybe. Yes, it does. You can use the designer clear adhesive <laughs> to attach your glitter instead of uh, Mod Podge. I don't like the smell of Mod Podge. It reminds me of stank boogers. Chris said, I'm a drug and alcohol nurse. It's hard as blank doing that test on someone under the influence. I can only imagine. Ooh. What's on the cup right now to make the gold stick? Um, it's just designer the designer clear, clear adhesive. adhesive. I've just got some gold flakes that I'm just rubbing on there. And different little patterns. Oh, wow, Kaylee. She said, my youngest had a kidney transplant last year. We were being careful with everything, but his doctor said the transplant patients are doing better because of all the meds they have to be on. So that was a bit of a stress relief. Terry said, husband's broken his nose too many times. Can't do that test due to not being up with a Q-tip far enough. Ooh. Yes, Stacy, she answered your question. Good night, Valerie. Valerie says, I'm out. This is boring. So the new studies that are coming out show that only 5% of people are taking antibodies to COVID after three months. So herd immunity is not likely. Interesting. Hmm. Just because I did my first lure tumbler on a plastic Dollar Tree cup to practice, and it turned out so much better than I thought it would. That's fantastic. See, now you just gotta do it on a real cup. Any tips to make chunky glitter lay flat? Once you have applied it to your cup, lay it down with your hand, like squish it down like that. While it's still wet with Good a night, Lori. hand, of course. Um, and it will lay down, and then you <laughs> won't need as many layers. Valerie said, possible. not boring, just have to work in the morning. Okay. All right. So, yeah. I think I like it. I'll probably go in and, you know, blend out my edges a little bit more. You know what would look cool, too, if you, if you went around it? Like the how they do the geodes and stuff? Yeah. If you did that in the gold plate, too? You want to blend out your edges a little bit so they're not so harsh. If you're opal. Davis, Deva, I, I always botch your name. Yes. Says, oh, hey, I see my cup. Yes, that's Hashtag hers. stoked. Yeah, she said she really liked it. I made quite a few of those. So, I've got a good bit still left in case someone wants one of my opal beauties. Yeah, just dabbing it with some alcohol to get it to blend a little bit better into the background, into the opal. Um, just got some alcohol on my makeup sponge. I'm just blending it out. So it doesn't look so awkward there. Brooke says I use wax paper and just push on it for my chunky glitter and pull it off on a map with it. Yes, you can do that too. Heather's I'm, Heather's a rebel. I'm a rebel. I usually do it with my bare hand, but I like to tell you guys to do it with your not a human hand. <laughs> a bare hand. Non-gloved hand. Is that better for you, sir? Yes. Gosh. Miranda says, I sent you a friend request. I love that cup, and I love your turner. I'm just starting and have one little turner and just a few inks and glitters. I need more. Hit yes. us up. Send me friends requests. Heather will probably buy your first cup. Yeah. Or buy one of your first cups. Yeah, I, I buy all of my personal cups from people who are just starting out. Um, 
So I like to buy those cups. Um, because if you get famous one day and you're a huge cup making person, I've got your first cup. So I'm famous too. See, I wanted that to stay more blue. Gosh. I got one hand, so I'm gonna put it on my cup of source like that. And all the blue kind of left out of it and just kind of blend it all in. Brooke said I don't want to get epoxy all over my hands. Yeah, I'm a rebel, so, you know. Yeah. Vicky said, first time seeing you. So relaxing to watch. Thank you. Yes. I'm super nice. I'm always here to help if you need it. Um, I really like that. I think that's pretty cool. What do you think? I like it. Yeah? Mm-hmm. So it's got my gold uh, veins in it. You could even do more of it up there to try and yeah. give more color off around the edges. So yeah, I'll post it on my site, on my Facebook page. Jennifer said, it's like awesome it. that you do that. I have so much more respect for you than I already did. Oh yeah. All my cups I bought from New Cup Makers. I got this one. Uh, before 4th of July and I got this one about a month and a half, two months ago. Um, and I've got a lot more in my kitchen, but they're all dirty because I use them all the time. Madison so. said I have my first order going out on Thursday. I'm excited. I finally got the wood grain down from your lives. Woo, woo. Wood grain is super Oh, you beautiful. dropped some on my toe. That was cold. Vicky said your cup is beautiful. Tiffany said, do you ever wonder who was the first person to ever put epoxy and glitter on a tumbler? I think about it all the time. Whoever it was is a genius. They are a genius. Hi, Marnie. And good evening. Good evening, darling. Vicky said your voice is very soothing. Mine is very soothing? Or Heather's is very soothing. Michelle said, oh my God, the water slide worked perfectly. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Yay. At least you both are down to earth, Tanya says. Yes, we're very down to earth. We're very helpful. If you ever need help with anything... We are always willing to help. Um, so feel free to reach out to us. Let us know what you're struggling with and we'll try to find a solution if we don't already know the solution or something that can help. Um, I do tons of cups. I take lots of orders. So I do sell my cups. Um, I do know a lot about the behind the scenes advertising and, and things like that. Um, so I can definitely help with that side. Um, so yeah, feel free to send me a friend's request to send me a message and ask me a question. I'm always Thank you, Vicky. here to help. Um, yeah. Rapid fire questions. Have you ever done a cup party? No, but I want to. Uh, most of my tumblers went to an auction I started like two or three months ago. Elizabeth said 1037 in Jacksonville, Florida, and I have a cricket in my bedroom. Long, long night. Ooh. Um, da Deva. Have y'all did a live over plaid tumblers? I attempted one and it's not great. not yet, but and I can. Tori said the first time I messaged you was one of my first cups. And awesome. Stephanie said, I love watching y'all. I've learned a lot from your videos. Awesome. I love hearing that. I get that a lot, that a lot of people love watching my videos. Um, my videos are here in the Glitter Craze group. I also have a YouTube channel. So Design on a Dime Rinkin. Um, you can find me there with that. Uh, that is also my business page as well, except for it's the 31326 area code for the for Rinkin. Um, so definitely look for me there. Subscribe to my channel. I love Glitter Craze and their products. Um, and I'm always happy to help any and everybody. So you shoot me a message, shoot me a friend's request, and I'll be there quick, fast, and in a hurry. If you need links to any of the stuff that we did for this evening, too, just reach out to us personally. We'll send you yeah, we can as send many links, links as you need. I sometimes, like my dried flowers I had the other day, I had a lot of people message me because it's really hard to find that many dried flowers um, for so cheap. I think I paid $12, and I got, like, eight bags of dried flowers, like bags eight bags of dried flowers so that was a very um i got that one sent out a lot to a lot of people because it was so many dried flowers that i got for so cheap i have so. no idea how to pronounce your name because it's a lot of letters that it looks foreign but 
she, they said, thank goodness. I know there are some out there who tell us we need to do our own research on how to do tumblers. Thank you so much for being so kind. Chrissy said, I've made a few and give them as gifts. Those friends have had people ask if I can make them, but I'm terrified to charge for them for some odd reason. Don't be. You have to make sure that you get your money out of it, at least for your time. Yeah, you know what I mean? Make a time. make a little bit, even if you want to break even. Just you can be upfront and honest and be like, I honestly don't want to make money on these, and or just give them. I have a glitter addiction, and I just want to pay for my glitter addiction. Right. Joyce said, I haven't sold any tumblers yet. I've made four and given them away to family members to see if they last. That way, if I'm screwing up the epoxy, I figured out firsthand. Epoxy scared the crap out of me at first. I'm getting better though. Um, Steffi said, Hell yeah, you rock. Karen said, And don't forget, you're gonna make me a new, a new never done extreme cup, right? Sure. That was the one that I think she says she's going to make an order for you and just let your imagination flow. Oh, yes. Yeah. Zen yeah. is how you say your name. Okay, I'll try to remember that for next time, Zen. I'm messaging you for the flowers. Wow, yes. that is so much. Send me a message for the flowers. These are my bags of flowers, you guys. Like, I got this off of Amazon, and I got this huge bag of bags of flowers. Like, I don't even know how many bags of flowers are in here. One... Two, three. People said they're gonna message you for the flowers. Four. I think I'm afraid if I charge for them, then they have a reason to complain. Girl, no. Five, six. The seven, reason the reason you're charging them eight, is to charge for your time. Nine bags of flowers I got off Amazon for it was like eleven or twelve dollars. Leanne said this. That's me with the glitter addiction. Me too. Paula says she wants links to the flowers. Send personal messages. Yes. I ordered flowers off Amazon. I didn't get that many. Ooh. Yes, it was a. I ordered some off Amazon too, and I got like this little bitty thin packs of flowers I was going to use on a milk bath tumbler. And I was so disappointed because it was so expensive. And I got that for like 11 or $12. And I couldn't believe it. I could not believe how many flowers, how many bags of flowers I got for like 11 or $12. She'll send the link out, guys. Yeah, I could definitely send the link out for sure. Because I was super surprised. I was pleasant. Matter of fact, if you want to hold it. No, we'll do it in a few minutes. Okay. I'll, I'll, we'll link it afterwards. That way you guys can get it. Or you can send me a private message so that you're already in my inbox. So if you send me a question later and we're not friends, I will see it. Chrissy Maybe says, do you do tie-dye tumblers with glitter? I um, guess like the Marabou's? Can. You can, yeah. I have three orders I haven't even shipped yet. Glitter hoarders unite. Yes. I try to suggest people look at Etsy so they could get, see the average prices. They look at me like I'm crazy when I say 30, 40 is an average price. Yeah. Yeah. Don't, don't... No, if if they aren't willing to pay for your cup that's thirty or forty or fifty dollars, um, tell them to go to someone else because it's not going to be as good. Right. As yours. Heather had a rhinestone cup that she was going to charge somebody like seventy five bucks for. They're like that's too much, and it's like they're selling online have, for a hundred and fifty. Yeah, I've seen rhinestone cups for a hundred and fifty to a hundred and seventy dollars a piece. So don't listen to them. You ready? Yes. All right, guys. Thanks so much for watching again. We appreciate it. Thank you for your time and your patience and your support. We appreciate it. And until next time. Keep on.